Hi guys, welcome to an afternoon with Jack. This is where I play games. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of like the rest of this channel, to be fair. But, oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this is a series where it's just me, just me playing games. Uh, no one else, just me. So, uh, slightly less awesome than all the other series, but oh well. Um, yeah, this I'm playing Invisible Ink. This is a game by Clay, the guys that made Mark of the Ninja, and more prominently, Don't Starve, which is a game that lots of people know about. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure these are different guys that made uh, Invisible Ink to the guys that made Don't Starve, but correct me if I'm wrong. You know, they're still the same company, but I'm in like a different group with them. You, you understand what I mean. But today, I am going to be playing this game. And uh, yeah, it's a. It's, uh, it's an isometric stealth game, which is something you don't really see very often. Usually stealth games are in the third person. Or two-dimensional. Um, but nope, this is isometric. And this is going to be... I'm going to delete this save. This is a test save. And and this and that one there is my personal save, so yeah. And we're going to choose normal mode. And um, yeah. Now the thing has been updated, and here are all the Asians. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, go on a rant about, you know, which Asian is which, but I'm just, I'm just gonna say who they are. This is Deckard. This is uh, Deckard is pretty decent. He's all about stealth, international, internet, international, what? international. That's how you say it. International, not international. International. Um, she can scan things from afar. She's pretty good. Uh, Shalem Eleven. He has gun. Under circumstances, he's very good, but most of the time he kind of sucks. Banks is super duper overpowered. She can open lock. She can open doors without a keycard and paralyze people and stun people for an extra three turns, which is really OP. Doctor Ju, he he can break into things a little easier, and he has a shock trap, which is pretty nice. And Nika is like the, my least favorite character in the entire game because. She can attack twice per turn, problem is every attack uses up in-game power. And power lets you use Incognita, which is a, like a hacking device, to basically hack into everything. I'm just going to sort this out, because there's a dimension problem there. Um, so yeah, we're going to play this game, we are not going to be using Nika, we are going to be using um, Banks and Dr. Zhu, which is a very, very prominent combination, which I find very, very effective. Um, more effective than just about any other combination in the game. Oh my god, he's doing it again. Even in the test recording, my Steam friend is still playing Just Cause 2. My god, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So yeah, um, I look for, I haven't, this is a new update, I haven't really seen much on it, other than in my test recording. And I, I really look forward to reading this exposition here, because I've been looking forward to exposition. I know this sounds really sad, but I've really been looking forward to exposition on all the agents, and I'm so glad it's here now. Um, but yeah, this, this is the map, you get to choose where you go. We can go to St. John's, which uh, is in a place, it's a server farm. I, I can't really see what that is. Is that? No, that's not Hat. That's, that's not Nova Scotia. Oh, it's like Newfoundland. Um, we go to Thunder Bay, uh, which I think is either in or very close to Toronto. Uh, it's another server farm, which is less guarded than this one. Uh, we go to Havana in what looks to be either Cuba or Jamaica. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Nanofab. Um, Vestibule. Uh, they, I can't remember what this place does, but Server Farm gives us new incognito programs. Vaults. Vaults are pretty self-explanatory. That's in Colombo. Which is that India? I think it's India. Uh, and the executive terminals will be going to later in the recording in Christchurch, New Zealand. We're gonna go to the vault because the vault gives us lots of money, funnily enough. So we're gonna head in here and get a butt ton of money. Um, so yeah, this is this is the game. You can spin it around. Um, having the crisis where holy shit, I don't even know where I am because I just rotated the game. Um, yeah, this is central. She's talking about stuff. Don't really listen to her. Zhu uh, is gonna move. He's gonna start peeking. You can peek around corners. Yeah, pretty 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 standard stealth stealth 
stealthing things with a very sci-fi twist of like Clay's previous stealth game, Mark of the Ninja, which is one of my favorite games ever. I love Mark of the Ninja. Now, obviously, we have action points, which, you know, stops us. Since it's turn-based, I forgot to mention that earlier, it is turn-based. You can, um... For some reason, it's... Oh, yeah, it's because I... Peaked. Now, the problem I'm going to have is because this guy is going to walk back in here. See, this, this yellow line represents where a guard has walked. Usually when these yellow lines go, this guard is going to patrol back and he's going to stand in this location. So, he is probably going to see me if I go into this room. So I'm going to stand in this doorway and I'm going to use this neural disruptor to quote-unquote zippy-zap his ass. And, um, yeah, Zhu, Zhu's going to move over here. He's going to get me some power. He's going to give me three power, to be more specific. So look. He has moved exactly to where I said he was going to move. I hope. <laughs> I, I hope. I hope we so yeah, steal some credits from him. We don't need the pass guard because cheap banks doesn't need them. We, we zippy zap his butt. And, um, yeah, he is there for two turns. Unless we pin him, we basically sit on top of him. And, um, then he will be in, in capacity. Uh, in thing I, I don't know. I can't, I can't talk today. I've been at school. School numbs your brain. <laughs> As I'm sure anyone who's been to school will know, school is brain numbing and it's, it's not a fun experience. I, I envy those people that just don't go, that just don't have to go anymore. It's not fun. And um, you know the English stereotype where, you know, everyone's an asshole. That's pretty much true. Is that an English stereotype? It should be because it's true. Pretty much everyone in England is a fucking asshole. There's, um, let's, let's just say there aren't many decent people at my school. It's not fun. It's not a pleasant experience. There's, um, I'm sure Louis can confirm as well. Hmm. Yeah, I plan to be a little more serious. Louis, Louis is just going to piss about all the time. I mean, that's what he does every day, but, you know. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he is going to be pure... His, his game is going to be pretty much pure comedic. Purely comedic. Whereas me, I, I'm going to try and be a little more... Not, not too much, you know, more, you know, not too serious, but, you know. We're going to be at least a little bit, you know, professional here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can't, I can't see that happening, but, no, oh well. I'm just gonna make sure I haven't missed anywhere. Oh, I have, actually. I have missed some locations, so. Banks can head back down here. The doors make really cool sounds now, I really like that. She can't actually peek in there, because she's run out of AP, because for some reason, peeking uses up AP. Something I've yet to understand about this game. But, oh well. I have power to spare, so I might as well do that. Plus, I can always turn that on when I need it. it. Doesn't appear to be any guards in the vicinity, so I am going to continue onward. Let's have a look. Oh, there's some cool stuff. Now, if I had Doctor Zhu, I re really Doctor Zhu should be doing this because he has these things called subdermal tools, which let him basically deactivate this thing's security returns, so I don't have to waste power on it, but he's just too far away for me to care. Could get this stim, but like I said, I don't really care. It's not real stims aren't really that great, I find. I know some people will argue that having, you know, the more AP you have, the better. I, I have to beg to differ, because it just isn't really that helpful. Now we have security camera we can hack and this guy he is stationary so it does not matter we do not have to close this door we should not feel compelled to close the door so look disable corporation safe for one turn so we disable it and then we can hack into it. it does use up our attack for the turn but that doesn't really matter we can always kill this one not kill but 
neurally disrupt, quotation, quotation, this guy for a turn. Oh, here we go, found the vault. That's nice. Now, the vault's layout seems to have changed from what it usually is, which I, I don't have any problems with. And this is a vault door. We need a special vault key, which is... You have to go on an entirely separate mission to get, and as far as I know, it really just isn't worth it. It just gives you, like, a little bit extra money. And these are uh, cultural artifacts. They give you a bit of renown. And these open up. All of these, um, annoyingly enough, the rest of them are all, all of these uh, deposit boxes are all in here still, which is very, very annoying. Now Zhu is going to move here, and I'm going to try and, they're going to try and swap places effectively, so Zhu can get down here and pick up some of these things. Yeah, there is. Uh oh, someone hurt him. This is not good. And there is a rude dude over here, and he is going to be zippy zapped. I think it's pretty safe to say we can leave now, actually. Because if we stay much longer, we could have a problem on our hands. Scratch that, we will have a problem on our hands. See, as you is out, he is he has escaped. He has no reason to be here anymore. So we let him leave. He can't see this. Don't think. Doesn't matter because we can see him, he's on the security camera that we control, and he's now here. Which means I probably can't get in there. Which could be a problem. No, I can't. Very annoying. Now he can see me. He's on Overwatch. So I just hop here and he cannot see me anymore. Which is very nice. And he's gonna run here. And I'm gonna zip and zap him. Zip and zap your ass, fool. And this is bad actually because he noticed that. I can steal his valuables. Now he can see me. Not anymore. So open this door now. I can, I might be able to loop around, maybe. I can make a loop around. Now this could end in my death. Oh no, no, it doesn't. He thought I was over here because he's an idiot. And we're out. That was not very hard at all. Banks, she's gonna upgrade her stealth. He is going to get better hacking. Oh well, we're going to apply these upgrades, and we can go to Christchurch and get the executive terminals, which basically unlocks more levels for us. We can go to Thunder Bay. No, I don't think that is anywhere near Toronto. I think Toronto is one of the lower, really, really, really big lakes. But I don't. I'd correct me if I'm wrong. I do have a friend from Toronto, but I don't remember where Toronto is specifically. Um. Um, uh, my squid, my chair is squeaking, that's annoying. Um, I'm gonna unlock new levels because I think that's kind of helpful. If we get the agents up and running, the best science is done in the corp labs these days. And that was some, just some random things you decided to say there, Zhu, thank you. It's completely unnecessary, but Oh well. It'd be nice if they were voice acted. I would really, really like if these agents were voice acted. That would just be, that would make my day. I really would. I love this game. It's really, it's, it's, it's very addicting, despite how unfair it is at times. It is very, very fun. Because when you lose, you're like, okay, I fucked up. I fucked up really badly. Let's try again and see if I don't fuck up. And then you fuck up and rinse and repeat. Uh, 
Um, okay. Hi guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button. It really helps us out. And if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe.